Okay, fine. Today we are at the Canadian Tire gas station located on Maplefield Drive in Barrie. And that has a touchless car wash. So let's see what system it is. You can see someone's going, there's someone ahead of me just about to go and have a wash. And once again, we have gotten involved to be washed, and it was 12, I mean, $10.49 with a gas purchase. So, he, he's going to have a wash, and it looks like we have, oh wow, I cannot believe it. I wasn't expecting to see this, but we have a laser wash M5, which is really rare. This is a rare find. I have not filmed one of these things lately. You can see someone's going to have a wash. And he's just started his wash. So I have not filmed these systems lately. And this is really rare for a Canadian tire as well. I only filmed one back in 2018 at the Petro Canada station in Huntsville. Anyways, while his wash is going, the code machine is telling me to wait. So I'm going to pause it for now until he's out of a wash bay. Okay, so this guy is about to go ahead of the dryers. He has not gotten the top wash. He has gotten the regular wash, which is the second out top wash because he didn't get the dry foam and the clear coat protective. And in fact, the tri foam is only includes with a top wash. You can see the laser wash M5 signage telling me to wait as it's going for the Bellinger dryers. So it looks like there used to maybe a used to be a Bellinger system back then, like a Bellinger factor rapid wash, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I can reach it. So the code is five seven six or five. There we go. We can enter in, in the car wash. So here we go. So once again, this is a laser wash M5. We found your dryers.
there we go. We are at the full wash. Okay, so I'm all clear to go. So I will park by the car wash window and see how I have washed it. There we go. We are out of the wash. You can see we are going to pull up by the window and see how I have washed it. I noticed. Okay, there we go. Let's see how I have car washed it. I noticed, I noticed on the dryer timer, it said, thank you for choosing PTQ laser wash for Felsen. So maybe there could be a laser wash for Felsen used to be in here. Anyways, dryers kind of did well on the sides. It didn't clean up his here as well. It didn't clean up this. Dryers kind of did well on the sides, not the best. On the back windshield. Mm, the dryers, dryers kind of did well. It didn't clean this again. A little bit of dirt on the back. And here too. Same with here. It, well, it, it did clean up all the dirt here on the side, so you can see. Even the, the dryers did much better on the passenger side. But it didn't get all the dirt off here, so surprisingly. And I thought these touchless systems can do well. And on the hood, that's how I washed it. Drive the way on the hood, you can see. Some bumper drive. Didn't do that well. The stuff like that. But despite on the dirt, on the wind, on the stuff, on the dirt and stuff like that, this much did a great job. I'm not sure if I can still dirt on the car and stuff like that. So yeah, overall for 1099, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this one. So yeah, and I've been to that, glad I was able to film my laser wash M5 with boundary dryers today. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that will be it.